After 25 years, two mistrials and one overturned conviction, prosecutors are dropping their case against Sean Ellis, the man once found guilty of murdering a Boston police detective in 1993. My office will file paperwork today ending the prosecution of Mr. Ellis for first-degree murder and armed robbery. The district attorney's announcement yesterday put an end to a quarter-century-long saga, which was complicated by connections to corrupt police officers and questionable testimony from an eyewitness who once said they saw Ellis at the scene of the crime. On September 26, 1993, investigators said Boston police detective John Mulligan, on detail, was sleeping in his car in front of a Walgreens in Roslindale when he was shot five times in the face and killed following a robbery. Ellis, then 19 years old, was quickly arrested and tried for Mulligan's murder. The first two trials ended in hung juries, although one jury did convict him of weapons possession. Then at a third trial, he was convicted of John Mulligan's murder and sentenced to life without parole. But in 2015, that conviction was overturned. Ellis was released on bail after 22 years behind bars. And while there will be no fourth trial, officials say they still believe Sean Ellis is guilty. Sean Ellis is culpable. What does the evidence look like after 25 years? The witnesses and the strength. And the decision was based upon that. Not innocence at all. Of course, Sean Ellis disagrees. He joins me now. Nice to see you, Sean. Along with his lawyers, Rosemary Scapicchio and Jalise McDonough, hello to both of you. We invited members of Detective Mulligan's family to join us. They declined based on schedule. How does it feel to know no more trials, no more jail? You're a free man after more than half your life. Uh, it feels great, um, to say the least. It's a feeling that I'm not used to, and so it's, it's, it's taking me some time to, to get used to the feeling. But um, in the in the short term, it's, it's, it feels great. Did you, is it true that earlier today you had your ankle bracelet pulled off, sort of the last physical? Right, the last physical piece um, of, of this horror um, was finally removed today. I finally got a smile on your face. Off that. <laughs> what, what that? I mean, when that's coming off, what was that? What was in your head and your heart and your? Body. What are you thinking? So I'm, I'm thinking like it's done. Like it's, it's something that um, I don't have to deal with. I don't have to go to sleep and wake up worrying about whether or not I'm going to be sent back to prison. What's your reaction to what uh, the new Commissioner Gross and the interim or acting, whatever he is, DA had to say that we're not saying he wasn't guilty. We're just saying we can't prove a case. Uh, is If evidence is based on truth, um, no matter how much time elapses, um, then it's going to stand up. And so the fact that, that, that he's acknowledging that um, 20, 25 years later that there's a weakness in the evidence, that means that, that it wasn't strong to begin with. You know anything, have any involvement, any fashion in this case, in the murder of uh, Officer Mulligan? No, sir. What's your reaction to both things, uh, Rosemary? Not, not just the fact that your client is a free man, but the comments you heard from people in law enforcement. Oh, I, I'm thrilled that Sean is free and he doesn't have to worry about this anymore. But the way in which the Suffolk County District Attorney's Office um, had the press conference and, and made their statements that were really unchallenged by anyone, um, and completely contrary to what Judge Ball found and what the SJC found in terms of Mulligan's involvement with a Sarah Robinson in Brazil and in terms Other of... Other cops who were found to be corrupt. That's correct. So, so what they said yesterday was there was no evidence Mulligan was actively involved or knowingly involved. And in fact, we have reports that suggest that he held a person at gunpoint while a Sarah and Robinson went to rob their, their apartment. And, and so what's the relevance of there being bad cops with going after Sean Ellis? Well, because they tainted the entire investigation. When this investigation first started, the, I believe that a Sarah Robinson and Brazel and other cops were desperate to shut down the investigation because if people really knew what Mulligan was up to, their own corruption would have been exposed. And that's what we argued to, ju to Judge Ball, and that's what the SJC found, uh, is that you know, it, it was a game changer uh, that we were able to connect Mulligan to their um, criminal conduct. And by the way, this, this dealing with drug dealers, so I've heard one of you say in the press in the past, the way that Mulligan was killed, this execution style thing, fits much more in a pattern of a drug thing gone bad than it does a random act of violence by an individual. Is uh, that not so? Absolutely. And uh, Sean's always put himself at Walgreens. Uh, he was forthcoming with the police. He said he was there buying diapers. And it just didn't make sense that a teenager would just kill someone execution style like that. You know, when you were here 26 months ago, 
uh, uh, after a new trial had been ordered, Dan Conley, who was then the DA until very recently, said he was going to go ahead with this trial. What change in the intervening two years do you think, Jalise? I think there's a lot of things at play. I think the Commonwealth uh, quickly realized that their case wasn't strong in 1995 and it hasn't gotten any stronger at this point. And then I think there's also the political climate of Rachel Rollins coming into office. And um, I think it all came together. You know, I was watching the tape of the interview we all did in September of 2016, and I asked you a question that I'm going to ask you again. I couldn't believe your response the first time, and I can't, I have a feeling I won't believe it now. I asked you if you were angry at the cops, angry at the prosecutors, and your answer, Sean, was no, you weren't. Half your life was taken away from you. Half your life was spent in jail. Why aren't you angry at the people who put you there? I'm, I'm angry. I'm angry. Um, I'm angry about what happened um, to me, of course. But I'm not. I'm not angry to the point to where I'm enraged and um, I'm, I'm being held down and held back by my feelings. Is 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 a wrong was done to me, and so it's like I, obviously I have feelings about it. Um, but I'm not. I'm not gonna be subservient to those feelings. Like. You know. Against any individual, nothing against anybody, even those who consciously, because your lawyers believed that people in high places knew that you hadn't done this, and they chose not to make that information available, which would have allowed you to live a life. Right. And so it's, 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 for me to be angry, what would come out of that? Um, I'd rather take, to take the way that I feel and turn it and um, use it as, as, as like fuel to a to address the uh, things that happened in my case, because it's not just um, me that that happened to. You know, last time you were here, Rosemary, you talked. You said you thought there should be an investigation. It's sort of the big picture here by the Attorney General, U.S. Attorney. Nothing, none of that has happened, has no, it? Nothing has what happened. What should be investigated? I, I mean, in this case, what should have been investigated by the Suffolk County District Attorney's Office and the Boston Police, at least at a minimum, uh, they should have investigated the hundreds of tips that came in. Uh, we, did they ever? They did not. Not why one not? single report. Because they weren't looking for who actually did it. They why were did looking they not for. Want, why didn't they want to find out who actually did it? Be, because that would make them wrong. And, and they weren't about to be wrong in this case. Um, and, and I believe very strongly that um, they spent the last three years trying to find anyone and anyone um, who would say that Sean did it, and they were unsuccessful in doing that. You know, Jaleese, you also, your contention, and I, I say both of you, I assume all three of you, as I said, in the highest places in the police department at that time, all the way to the commissioner's office, they knew information that wasn't disclosed to you for decades that could have made this guy a free man. They did. Uh, the commissioner knew. Um, Who? Right, uh, commissioner Bratton and then the commissioner took over after him. Uh, it was reported to them that Mulligan and Robinson had uh, robbed a gun, uh, drug dealer at gunpoint and none of that information was turned over to Sean. There were countless tips that were called into the tip line that implicated people. None of that was turned over to Sean or his counsel. And um, even one of the tips was assigned to a Sarah to investigate and nothing ever came of it. He never looked into it. we talked about a minute ago. You know, do you worry about doubt following you because of the words of people like Commissioner Gross and the acting, that people, yeah, there's no new trial. Yeah, you'll never be tried again. Yes, you're a free man. But they Google you and they're going to hear these people saying, we still believe he did. How do you shed that skin? Um, so it, you can't really shed the skin. Like people are going to think what they're going to think. Um, but if if they're interested in getting beyond um, opinion, if they're looking, if they're interested in getting beyond belief, um, and, and 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 getting to the facts, like they will, they will definitely do the res do do the research and get to the facts. Do you have any interest in meeting with Officer Mulligan's family? Um, I have absolutely no no problem with it, but I'm always um, going to follow the, 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 the advice of, of Rosemary. Well, speaking of their advice, remember the great line from Ronald Reagan, Secretary of Labor, you're too young for this, I don't know if you are, to Ray Donovan, who was, uh, who was charged with a crime, tried, he was acquitted, and he then his famous line is, which office do I go to to get my reputation back? Exactly. Where does he go to get his reputation you know, back? I, I don't know where he goes. I, I mean, I think what I really believe what Suffolk County did yesterday uh, was to be able to have a press conference 
uh, where they controlled all of the facts and they controlled the message. I think they were concerned if Rachel Rawlings came in and didn't, d did the investigation that I think she would have done. Uh, she wouldn't have been praising the Boston Police Department. She wouldn't have been praising the district attorneys who prosecuted the case. Um, she would have told the truth uh, in terms of, of what happened here. And, and they did it, I think, intentionally three weeks before Rollins took office so that they could control the message. So is there anything to be done with Rollins to... to totally clear his name, not just make him a free man. Is there anything you can do with the new DA, anything she can do to on this case? I don't I don't know if there is anything she can do. I think Are you I think approach she, her? I think we probably will. Um, I think there's a lot of cases that she should be looking into and that she probably will look into. What do you do with your life? What's what's up for Sean Ellis? What are you doing now? Um I begin to put it back together. Um I I, I have I have a couple in Interests, um, going to school is one of them. Um, yeah, there's a financial hurdle related to that that I, I have to get over. Um, but um, I want to I want to do work to 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 help address the epidemic of wrongful convictions. Mm. Um, well, Sean, congratulations to you and obviously to you too as well. It's been a long fight. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank Felice, you. nice to see you. Nice thank see you. you. Thank you, Rosemary. Thank you. Thank you so much, for And Sean, us. of course, good to see you. Good, good luck, Sean. Thanks, Appreciate it.